Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film this Halloween makeup look for people that are maybe running a bit last minute or you're going out somewhere that you don't think people are going to be too dressed up and you don't want to turn up in a full Halloween costume. You just kind of want to do your makeup a bit more grungy and a bit darker for Halloween rather than going the full shebang with a big costume. So I went for black lips and a super dark smoky eye but I still kept it kind of wearable. Smoked out my lower lash line quite a lot. Obviously you can take these things down and take out what you don't want to wear. You can take out the black lips, just put on a nude. I've also done a really strong contour as well to go with the whole look. I feel like this could sort of be like a werewolf look if you did your brows a bit messier and stuff like that you could get away with it for a werewolf sort of makeup but yeah um I had a bit of dilemma filming this video so my memory card came up that it was full and I went to try and delete something I ended up deleting the whole section that I'd filmed doing the eye makeup so when I do my eye makeup excuse if there's like makeup a bit messy around it or anything it's because I had to just take off my eyes and start again and I've also got my lower lash line done at the time so I'm so sorry if that's annoying but I totally could not make myself go back and take all my makeup off and start all over again so I hope you don't mind that. I hope you like my take on a sort of Halloween makeup. I've got two looks coming up next week. I'm just waiting on some blood and some latex and stuff coming in Um, so they will hopefully be up maybe one later on this week and hopefully next week so if you're looking forward to those and you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you want to see how to get this makeup look then just keep watching. Hello! So today I'm going to show you how to get this Halloween makeup. Um, this is like I said sort of for a last minute costume or even for a night out if that's what you fancy wearing. You can just swap out the lips and wear the nice smoky eye. So like I said I lost the footage so my eyes do look a bit messy here but at first I'm going to go in with Press Pop from the Laura Lee Violet Voss palette and just blend that as a transition shade. Next I'm going to take a mixture of Mama Bird and Ragamuffin from the same palette and I'm going to put them on the same brush and just really put it in the same place just to make the transition a bit warmer because I want it to be a really nice blown out smoky. To intensify the crease a bit more I'm going in with the shade Fried on a Morphe M441. It's just one of those mustard brown colours just to put a bit more depth in the crease and also use a warm colour to keep it as a nice orangey smoky eye. And then I'm going to go in with Alabama which is a red tone brown and I'm going to go on a 217 and just put that kind of in the crease to start the blending of that darker colour on the lid. Next going in with a mixture of whiskers and bubs I'm going to just intensify the crease a bit more and this is just going to help when you're blending out that black on the eyelid if you've already got some darker browns in the crease just so that you're not trying to blend out a really dark black into nothing. So I'm just sort of using a couple different brushes here to go over and blend those out and make sure it's really seamless. Here I'm just using whatever's left on that brush and sort of bringing it right into the inner corner to intensify it a bit more and make it a bit different than any normal smoky eye you'd normally wear. Uh, then I'm going to go in with a black which is called Lou in this palette on just, I think this is a smoky shader brush from Zoeva and I'm just going to pack that all over my eyelid right up to the crease so I can start blending that out and just make sure it's really dark and really pigmented at the very bottom of my eyelashes because I want this to be really smoky. So I'm just using that same 217 brush from MAC with no additional product just to sort of blend those edges and the Morphe M441. These are just some eyelashes that I customised using some individuals and wispies and I just popped them on off camera to save some time. Um, on the bottom lash line I'm going to go in with the Jet from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this was so hard to film but I was just putting that in my waterline with an angled brush. Um, I tried to show as much as I could but it's so hard to do it on camera and I'm just making sure it's really in between my lashes so I can blend it out. Next I'm going to go in with a mixture of the three darker shades at the bottom of the palette that I used in my crease and I'm going to use that on just one of those smudger brushes just to sort of blend out the black on my lower lash line. And just using the same colours on a pencil brush to further blend. And then I'm going to go in with Alabama to use that on a 217 and really smoke out the lower lash line. And this is what's going to make it stand out a bit more than any normal smoky eye because it's going to be really blown out and in your face. Um, for an inner corner highlight I want to do something a bit different and use a bright gold rather than a champagne colour like I normally do. So then this should be the final eye look. 
To start off this intense contour, I'm going to go in with Java and Fawn from the Anastasia Contour Kit and really focus on putting that right in those hollows of my cheekbones. And I'm also going to bring it down a bit further into those parts of my mouth to make it look really intense and really structured. Um, I'm going to bring that up around my forehead and on the jawline as well to sharpen those up. So to clean that up and intensify it a bit more, I did bake but I sort of kept away from those front bits of the mouth and I also kind of went around them to make sure that I wasn't ruining that shape and I also just went in down my nose to sort of blend in that inner corner. And I'm going to go in with MAC Emphasize Shaping Powder because I really like the look of the highlighted under eye with this really dark smoky eye because I think that makes it a bit more wearable. The blush I'm going to use is Amaretto from the Jaclyn and Becca face palette just because it's a really nice peachy sort of muted blush. I didn't want anything too crazy. And then I'm going to go in with a mixture of Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop from the same palette. Mainly Champagne Pop because Prosecco Pop's a bit dark for my skin tone. And then I'm going to just brush away that bake using the same brush I used to highlight my under eyes. Then I'm going to just set everything with the Mario Badescu Rose Water and this is me realising how chalky my contour looked. <laughs> Next I'm going to do lips, this is MAC Night Moth Lip Liner, it's the darkest one that I have. And I'm going to go in with Lime Crime Velveteen in Black Velvet. I hated the smell of this liquid lipstick but it's the only black that I had and it was really nice and pigmented. So. That's it guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, like I said, I'm going to have more actual Halloween tutorials coming out soon. So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe on your way out. And thank you so, so much for watching.